In part three of this five-part series, I show you how to lay out the client user interface using Visual Studio 2017 designer tools. Let's get going. Okay, let's go. This video, I'm going to show you how to, to lay out the uh, WinForm client application. So we start just like we did with the server. Uh, we create a new project in Visual Studio. Uh, it's a WinForms app. We got our name, WinForm client. Make sure you select the property directory. We're going to store it, create a new solution. Solution name is WinForm client. And again, I'm using framework 4.7 and uh, make sure you got create directory for solution checked uh, okay hit okay and your form pops up so just like before start off with a table layout panel just drag that bad boy right here and resize it to just about the size of the form you can always make changes later Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to drag this over a little bit, just like that. Give us more room on that side. Go back to the toolbox, grab another table layout panel, and stick one right there. And while we're at it, grab another table layout panel and put it right up here. <clears throat> and then size these appropriately. Not quite to where they fill up. We're going to dock these things, so once we dock them, they'll take up the full space. Now, we can go ahead, actually, and we can dock this guy here. We should be able to dock that guy right away. So that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Dock full, just like that. This, uh, we're not going to, uh, we could probably dock this, but I'm going to create two more, add a row, add a row. So two more rows, and up here, I think uh, I need another row, add a row, okay. Yep, that'll do, that'll do, pig. Okay, so uh, bring this down, uh, bring them up for now. All right, so uh, I need to pull over a text. Let's start with the big status text box. I'll pull that over. That's just a text box. So bring over the text box and stick it right there. And I'm going to drag it over. And then I'm going to name it. I'll start from the top. Let's name it. So this control will be status text box. Status text box. Okay, it'll be multi-line. So let's select multi-line. Well, we'll make multi-line true is what we're doing. That's a property. That way we can drag it all the way down. Oh, and now we got to do the row span. Okay, if, you, if you're trying to drag a control across a boundary of a table layout panel and it won't go, that should be a clue. So row span 2. Now we can drag it across this boundary. Zoop, just like that. And uh, <clears throat> we can dock that control. Might as well dock it. Dock it while we're here. Dock that control. Boom. Okay, now, okay, so uh, I need to add scroll bars before I forget easy to forget this stuff but it's not like you can't go back and change your mind right so we'll do vertical okay and you see them kind of like they don't get dark until there's something to scroll and uh, you know what before I forget let me set the text on the main form so this will be win form client okay so win form client now I'm going to start building these uh, uh, adding controls to these table layout panels down here. Okay, so I need two buttons to start off with, the connect and disconnect button for the client. So just grab a button, stick it over here, grab another button, stick it over here, and I might as well grab all the stuff and then just 
So I need two labels. I need a label here, another label there, and I need two text boxes. Text box, these are going to remain single line text boxes. And right there. Now we're going to go through, well, let me let me do the upper two while we're at it. I'm going to put a text box, I'm going to put a button right there. So another button, a button, drag you right there. And then in these, uh, so I need a column span for this text box. I'm going to grab a text box and put it right there. Okay, so I'm going to drag, right? I got to set this to um, column span. So go up to the C's, call span, two, and multi-line, true. Okay, now we can drag it all the way across and all the way down, just like that. This button, let's start from the top and work down. The name of this text box will be the command text box. So let's, that's the name of, like I say, when we're naming, when we name a control, that's the, how we're going to access it in our code. So uh, command. So name these things stuff that you would you know remember. You can always go into the, the the code for the actual form that's automatically generated by Visual Studio and look at the names that these things generate if you don't know what's in there. So command text box, there's not going to be any pre-populated data in it. Okay, so everything is set. We can pretty much I'm not going to dock that control yet. I'll dock everything at the end. I want to make sure that we can still resize everything as as needed. All right, so let's work on the button. The button name is going to be a send command button, okay? Underscore. I like to start all my, uh, you know, fields with underscores. Send button. Now we're going to set the text. The text of the button will be send command. Okay, and we can resize this just a bit, just to make sure, and then we'll adjust this row like that. Okay, so we could dock these at this point. I'm going to dock this guy. Okay, dock equals true, or dock equals fill, and the send command, same thing, dock equals fill. There we go. And like I say, you don't have to wait to the end to check everything out and see how it's looking, right? You can uh, just go ahead and hit start. I'm hitting the start up here. It'll build uh, your, compile your code, run your project, and there's your, okay. Application running. I gotta move my window out of the way. All right. Let's do this. Bring this back. I must have wiggled something. All right. Okay, so there's our uh, client, right? So let's go ahead and finish the, the UA, the layout. This is going to be the IP address label. So let's name that component. We don't necessarily need, I in this particular example, there's really no need to name these labels because I'm not actually doing anything with them in the code. But uh, it's not a bad habit to get into. IP address label. Now we set the text. This is the most important part. So we'll say IP address colon. Okay, and then we're going to set the text align, which is going to be center or to the right in the center. And uh, we won't set the dock on this one yet. For the text box, the text box will be IP address text box. That's the name of the control. We will access this one. Okay. Now for the default text, IP address text box. For the default text, I'm actually going to put a uh, local host or one, 127. Okay. 
0.0.1. That will be the default IP address that shows up here. And then for text align, I want centered. Center. Um, drag this out. Okay. For this label, that's going to be the port label. So let's go up to the top. Underscore port label. For the text, I want port colon text align right centered and okay now let's move on to the text box this will be underscore port text box the name of the control underscore port and the uh, default value for the text will be 5,000. You could put any value in there. Well, not any value, right? You got to make sure that the port that you're connecting to to the server is not uh, used by any other process on your machine. Okay, and set the text align center. Drag this over. Now we could dock these, but I'll wait till I get everything done here. So button one, that's going to be the connect button. So let's name it underscore connect button and then come down to text and just same thing connect and we'll just put connect and middle center is the text align that's the default for a button anyway drag it across okay now this other button that's going to be the disconnect button so up to the top underscore disconnect button and then come down here to the text will be disconnect okay now these buttons are not hooked up to any, any events but we'll change that when we code it up let's uh Let's dock this stuff. I'm going to start over here. So we've already docked over there. I'm going to dock the entire uh, table layout panel. Start there. So we'll come down to dock. Okay, dock fill. That's already docked. Let's select this one. I'm going to dock that one. I'm going to dock this control. That's already docked. Okay, maybe it uh, just flows downhill. So click on this one, dock, fill. All right, so when I, if I click dock this up here, if I click dock, fill there, I think it automatically filters down to everything. So let's go up to dock and check my theory. So A, B, C, D, dock, fill. Well, didn't quite do everything. Let's do dock. Okay. Well, I think I docked those. That's why. Okay. Dock this one. Okay. Uh, I want to dock this one. So we'll have to adjust these rows on the table layout to get everything to line up perfect. Dock. And then dock these buttons. I guess I could uh, select them all and dock them. Never tried that. Dock. And dock this last one. Dock. Okay, so let's adjust this so it lines up with port like that. Okay, let's make this one, these guys a little bit bigger. Come up here. Okay, this comes down to line it up. All right, that looks fairly lined up. Is enough for I that I need. All right, so save it and run it. Okay, so we have our client user interface coded up. 
like I say, these buttons are not connected to anything. We have our IP address, text box. Okay, I can make this uh, read only over here because we're not going to enter stuff in the status. It's just going to be a printout. So let me go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, okay, so we've got the, this box here selected and we got to check the read only property. So read only equals true. And you'll see the box turn to gray. And that's it. Control save. Okay. Uh, with the client UI design uh, initialized, well, you know, fleshed out for the most part, we have labels and buttons and text boxes. We're not going to really use the labels, but we're going to use the text boxes and the buttons. So uh, we're ready to start coding the client. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.